Hey, good morning everybody. Ed Frolish with Ocean Deep Fishing. So, the purpose of the video this morning, we were going to go fishing. My truck is hooked up to the boat. I came out here about 4.30 this morning to undo the cover and everything. And just checking the boat out. Let me show you what I found. So I was just checking things out, getting ready to unstrap the straps from the cover. And lo and behold, I find that my cap on my bearing is missing. Here's what it's supposed to look like. So, and the problem is, this inside here is a threaded cap that goes in there. For some reason, whatever the reason is, I don't know it now, that this cap broke, and it broke right where the threads start. So I have a quarter of an inch threads that are in there that I have to work on getting that out so anyway I don't want to take the boat I'm afraid of possibly because it's an hour ride over there I don't want the um, grease and everything to spill out and uh, end up having a bearing problem and all that so I changed course but I do I've already ordered the part from Amazon's coming Tuesday so I'll make another video on changing that and um, do a little maintenance while we're doing that on the tires and treads and stuff like that i still wanted to go do something so we are going to load up some crab traps and a couple small rods and reels and we're going to go over to crystal river area going to see if we can find a place to go crabbing and maybe with luck maybe we'll catch a redfish bring home for dinner but uh anyway that's our goal just see what kind of crabbing we can get into probably going to try several spots um, I've never crabbed from shore in Crystal River before, so well, I'm just going to hunt some spots down, spend an hour or so in each spot if it's not productive. If it's productive, of course, we'll stay there. But anyway, so come along for the ride. I'll pick you up when we get over to Crystal River. Pretty. Oh, are you serious? Look what we came for, Pompano. That's a nice one there. Look at that size of that fish there. Woo! Let me not take him out of the water. Oh, there we go. A little peanut. Look at that one, baby! Oh. It's gotta be 20 pounds. Oh man, it's a Woo! Oh man. Alright. Woo! King mackerel! Yeah, there's a nice king mackerel, buddy. Okay, guys, we made it to uh, Crystal River. We're going to be uh, Roger Bachelor Pier. And I'm just setting up my crab traps. Let me show you what we got going on here. <clears throat> so they're collapsible, foldable things, so they store really well. We're going to open them up, we're going to put our bait in, then we're going to go do some crabbing. Um, it's a little late, it's getting hot, so I don't know how the crabbing's going to be. This is kind of like my second option, because I was going to take the boat out, but couldn't, as I showed you earlier. Alright, that's as easy as it is to set them up. <coughs> We've got our string over there, we're going to our bait and chop it up and put them in here and then we're going to head down so what i have here is i have um last week we went fishing we caught some mackerel this is the mackerel carcasses the nice thing i like about these is they work like a crab trap you can stuff the bait and stuff right in here Close that down and zip it up and we're going to do the other one. We're going to get a little bit, we'll put heads in the one, I'm going to put the carcasses in the other one, which has, um, you can see just the backbone where it was filleted off of. We'll give it a 
give it a little test and see what does better. The nice thing I like about this spot we're going to go to right now is if the water's crystal clear, you can actually watch the crab walk into the trap. So you don't have to keep guessing if there's a crab in there and come up and put a little bit more in this trap here. So the traps are pretty well loaded. We're going to put them in. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish getting set up. We're going to walk down here and uh, start crabbing. Okay, guys, this is my little wagon. I got to um, walk it down there. Hello, how's it going guys? Well, we're just getting started, so we'll see. Just doing a little crabbing. Yeah. See how it works. Okay. How y'all do today? Did you get anything? Uh, I hooked up on a big one this morning, but lost it right, right when I got it to the pier. Oh, uh, you think uh, it was a redfish? No, it was, it was uh, it didn't pull like, I didn't really get a good look at it. Yeah. Uh, but they said there's been a lot of tarpon here lately. Oh, really? Yeah. I know there's a lot of sharks here as well. Uh, so it could have been a shark. Could have been a shark, yeah. yeah. It cut me off, whatever it was. And I, I had a uh, 80 pound test on there, so. Oh, yeah, that was a pretty good one then. Yeah. 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 All right, guys, take care. <laughs> okay, this is the walk out to our fishing pier. This is in Crystal River, Florida, if I didn't tell you. It's on Fort Island Gulf Beach, right at the very end of the road. From uh, US 19, you're gonna travel nine miles. You go to the dead end. If you have a boat, there's a boat ramp down here as well. You can see it's picnic areas. It's pretty well shaded. It's almost 11 o'clock now. Um, so you do have some shade. Got a pavilion back over here, which would be some shade. And there's a nature walk down that way. You can go for a nature walk that goes down toward the beach. We're going to be fishing on this pier. So we'll see. It's getting warm. The water's warm. The tide's still going out a little bit, so we're hoping for an end time coming tide. Morning. All right, morning. So we'll see what happens. Here's the pier. All right, we're gonna get set up. Okay guys, we're at our second spot. Um, there was a lot of crabs at the first spot we were at, but um, they were all really small. I didn't want to keep the small ones, so. I just stopped here for a minute, and I was looking down in here, and I saw like a four foot snook. So I'm just kind of like um, looking around. If I see him come back again, I'm gonna get a lure and try to pop that guy. You can see it's real shallow. There's only a couple cuts that go back in here that he can follow. Um, but I'm thinking that he's underneath this culvert right here. So we're going to give it a few minutes, see if I see him again. And then I'm also looking for crabs too, to see if, um, if I see any crabs moving. If I do, I'm going to put out my crab trap, crab traps on uh, either side, see what we do. But so far I haven't seen any crabs yet. I'll get back to you if we see anything going on. All right, guys, we're fishing this other side of the creek. You can see it's low tide back in here I've seen a couple crabs in here <clears throat> so we're gonna give it a shot I just rebaited the crab traps with some fresh bait I don't know if you can see but there is a crab sitting on that log actually it's a pipe my crab trap is down there one of them so we'll see we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do one more spot I'll give this about an hour and then we're probably going to go to another spot if uh, nothing produces here. I just got one on my uh, hook and line. Um, 
I didn't have time to come and turn the camera off. I would have lost him, but I'll show him to you. He's in the cooler, and he's a pretty good size one. Let's check this other trap real quick. for the crabs and the traps. Anyway, let's see um, what we can get. There's two of them down here. They're hiding under, there's a ledge here. They're hiding underneath the ledge. And there's a pipe between the ledge and them. So I can't get a crab trap in there. Oh, almost. Uh, got the bait off that time. I'm going to pull this one up again and see. Okay. I got one of them on a hook. He's got my line there. There we go. He's a little guy. I don't know if I should keep him or not. Yeah, he's kind of little. I think uh, he's a male. I think I'm just going to let him go. Again, all I see is um, small crabs. So I got about another hour, hour and a half before I got to go home. So I think I'm going to make another move. I'm going to go up the road a little bit to the next park. Okay guys, we're in the last spot for the day. We're in Crystal River Park. It's right on the Crystal River. It's going back toward Kings Bay. Opposite way is out to the Gulf. Picnic pavilions. Way over there on the other side of the park, you have to go around. That's the boat ramp. I don't know if you can see that boat going in right now. There's the main pier on Crystal River. Pretty good size, got a lot of room. Oh, just getting a nibble. A little nibble, there we go, there we go. I got, I'm just free lining a shrimp. Okay guys, well, we're gonna see what happens. I got two crab traps down. Um, got one over here close to the shore and then I've got one over there in a the corner. And uh, we'll see what happens. So if we catch anything, we'll bring it to you. So stand by. We got it's a trout. Redfish. Oh, baby redfish. Oh, we got a redfish. Nice. Look at that. I don't think he's a keeper, though. We got to be 18 to 27 inches. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. Look at that. All right. In you go, buddy. Okay, well, hopefully we'll get one a little bigger. Okay, well that was a nice little fish, unexpected, so we'll see if we get another one. Got another fish, not sure what it is. Oh, it's a skate. It's a damn stingray, son of a beach. So it's a little stingray. That I got there. Oh, let's put it back in there. Second fish. Not what I wanted, the second one, but it's a fish. Alright, let's get back to it.
nothing. Let's hope we can get a little live action there, but there's a manatee. That was pretty cool. <clears throat> Mountain Crystal River. That's the second one I've seen today. The first one I didn't get on film though. I got a little something on. Swallowed the hook, so I don't have a hook. Plus, I'll walk back to the truck, but we're getting ready to leave here soon, so I'm just gonna finish out crabbing. Okay, got another another crab. Not a big one. I was just getting it to go put some more bait in it. Didn't know I had a crab on it. But we'll go ahead and put them in there. It's a it's a she, but she doesn't have any eggs, so that's that's good. All right. Okay, we're gonna do our last pull of the traps and then uh, head to the house. them they fold up flat they stack in the garage really well Okay guys, we're getting ready to head home, but I um, wanted to stop and show you what we have for crabs. That's our catch of the day. They're not many. Two are kind of small, two are a nice size, but um, I think they're gonna, they're gonna make a nice um, uh, shrimp and crab boil for tomorrow's night's dinner, so. All right, guys, it's going on six o'clock. The sun's going down. We're gonna call it a day for this video. Hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And uh, don't forget the notification bell uh, so you know uh, when the next one comes out. Uh, we didn't do all that great today. 
Uh, but the weather was beautiful, no rain. We got a few crabs, so tomorrow, so we're gonna do a shrimp and crab boil with all the potatoes in the works, corn, you name it, we're gonna put it in the pot. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. Just leave a comment with your question and I'll get back with you. And if you uh, wanna know anything that you've seen in the video that we use from the GoPro to the fishing rods and that, just check out the description below. On the very bottom of the description, I have all my equipment that I use on my boat, not only today, but um, that I have in my arsenal. So if you wanna look up at anything that I've um, used in the past or and that just uh, look in the description and I only put in the description let me say this I only put things that I've used for a while and I really like them and they don't break and that there's a lot of things I've used in the past that you won't find in the description because I just think they're a piece of junk I don't want anybody to waste their money so uh, if you see it in my description as a link to Amazon you know that that's something that I can recommend to you and feel confident that um, it'll work um, to the best of its ability for you and you it won't be a waste of money okay guys that's it until we see you next time take care god bless see you on the next one